Hello everyone, I am Left, and welcome what is, or welcome to what is going to be my comprehensive review of uh, Vainglory Update 2.0. Um, not so much as just a review, as it will be like my first thoughts, first impressions, just everything to do with 2.0. So, first off, please excuse my voice. I'll probably be sniffing and coughing a bunch during this recording, because... I have a cold and it's like pretty bad, so please excuse any like cold related noises you hear in this commentary. So second, we're playing just some casual Crystal Power Kestrel, um, wasn't like I wasn't going for montage clips like I usually am, um, and you can see we're using the awesome new Winter War Kestrel skin tier 1. Um, I think it's my favorite new skin to be added. You see right here, I try to go down to the jungle shop to shop, but it's not there. So, um, yeah, this is probably my favorite new skin that was added in 2.0. Overall, a lot of the skins that were added in 2.0 are amazing. Actually, no, all of them are amazing. I love them all. Um, this Kestrel skin is so cool. Um, I like it a lot more than the Sylvan Kestrel. It's mostly because of the way like it fits her model, and it looks... <coughs> along the same theme as her default, and also, like, the, um, well, the big reason I like it is the little eye lasers that you have when you're in stealth. You'll see that whenever I use my stealth, like, the green eye lasers. Um, yeah, so, also, I couldn't talk, I couldn't not talk about the new hero in Update 2.0, Idris. Um, you see, he's on the other team there, playing, I think he's gonna be playing weapon power lane. <coughs> <coughs> Idris is an assassin, and he is a pretty good assassin. I haven't bought him yet because um, Super Evil, they they for their content creator boost program, they moved away from just giving you direct unlocks to just giving you a lump sum of ice to do whatever you want with to grow your channel. So what I did was you obviously saw this earlier. I um I opened 19 mystery chests, got some pretty cool stuff. A lot of glory, a lot of um, essence, and things like that, so it was pretty cool. Um, we did actually get Bakudo Ringo, this um, seasonal exclusive skin, so that was cool. And yeah, so we got a lot of good stuff from the mystery chests. They are definitely a huge improvement from the season chest last season. Like, the only time I ever bought anything from the season chest, actually I never bought anything from the season chest, the only time I ever opened it was when I got the free keys from leveling up in sunlight. So, um, yeah, that's, the mystery chest, so much better. Um, I got a lot of duplicate, got a lot of duplicate skins and heroes. Obviously, the only hero that I needed was Idris, so. The only hero I needed was Idris, so anything else is gonna be a duplicate. Um, so there's that. We also, uh, let's see. We got so many jungle changes in 2.0. Um, let's start off with the easy, the jungle shop is gone before 4 minutes. Um, this, in my opinion, is a very, 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 very good change. Um, it's, like, the biggest recurring echo chamber complaint that Super Evil had been getting was from high tier and professional players around my level, and they kept always saying that, um, the first engage of the jungle shop always decides the game or almost always decides the game, and it's just the definitive engage. If you lose in the first two minutes, you lose the whole game, and this is what they are trying to do with the jungle shop not being there. So, like, if you guys aren't in, like, a high tier or you've never experienced this, what I mean is, okay, let's go through a rotation. Like, say I'm playing with my teammates, and we're gonna go, we're gonna do, we're playing ranked, we're gonna do a rotation in the first two minutes, we take our backs, we take the mid heal, we go down there, the other team has already flared the shop and bought because they cleared faster than us. Now we have to either run away and hope that they don't kill us, or just try to fight them and die. In that case, we fight them, we die, we lose gold, they take all of our farm, and the game snowballs from there, as many of you probably know. Um, so yeah, the, they've taken steps to totally, they've taken steps to reduce that. A lot and I am really happy about it I'm there is nothing I hated more than getting snowballed and just feeling like after one minute in the game I just didn't have a chance anymore so I am just overall incredibly happy about the changes to the jungle shop and 
there is another change in the jungle. Um, that would be the Treant. The Treant now spawns a root, or tries to root you with like its own little ability if you hit it. I'm not really like a big fan or a big detractor from this. I mean, I didn't really, I don't know why it needs to be there. I also don't know why it wouldn't need to be there. Uh, it's just an extra little thing that seems okay. Also, we've got the Crystal Miners, the most overpowered heroes in the entire game. Um, these guys do loads and loads and loads of damage, and I love them because it means that nobody likes to try to touch my backs anymore, and that's great. Um, the less people trying to touch my backs, the better. So, I like the Crystal Miners. Ooh, I dropped my phone on my computer. My bad, but the crystal miners are actually really cool. Um, I like them a lot. If you're in, s the only way that you avoid them is if you're in stealth, like Kestrel, or if you're in a bush. They do a crap load of damage, so you really have to watch out for them. And yeah, so some of the new items in 2.0 and my thoughts on them. First one is um. Well, I guess we should start with like the most uproar one to the echo um i haven't found the echo to be a problem really um some people have been telling me that like crystal power ringos are back in the meta because they build echo and use their alt twice and you can't block both of them and it's just instant death so that might be a problem but i haven't seen it yet so it's not a problem until i see it um you'll see in this game the enemy jewel is trying to build as much crystal as possible and the echo and it's, it falls pretty, pretty flat on its face. Um, like the thing about Echo that I had been telling people since it came or since it was announced was that this thing costs so much gold and gives such minimal base stats that building it is a liability for your damage. Um, say say you're playing Jewel um, and maybe at fifth you've been farming really well. Maybe at 15 minutes you would have Shattered Glass, Broken Myth, Frostburn. That's a pretty good item trio for Jewel, but say now you wanted to build Echo. Now at 15 minutes you have Shattered Glass, Broken Myth, Echo, which is you lose your slow, you gain 250 max energy, 4 energy recharge, and the ability to shoot twice. I don't know the math on this, but I'm pretty sure that comes out to about the so close to the same damage of one beam that has your first build out. Um, I don't know. Like, I haven't seen the Echo used well yet. Uh, I actually played it on Catherine in a casual match, and even though it gives you 250 max energy, two Catherine ultimates still absolutely rips through her energy. Like, have you ever ulted at level 6 with Catherine when you don't have, like, an energy battery or void battery? Like, it's... It's awful. I can't live without energy on Catherine. It's it's just life. It's like the lifeblood of playing Catherine. So, um, yeah, you... I don't know. Echo, it's just a weird item. I haven't actually seen any pro players building it yet. So, I'm gonna reserve my judgment until we see some Evil 8 slash VIS gameplay. Speaking of VIS, um, my team is gonna be starting up again. Pretty soon, actually today, when this video goes out, um, we're going to be having some more practices. Sakai has told me we're welcoming a couple new players to the team, which is cool. He hasn't told me who they are. I guess it's a surprise. But yeah, um, that's going to be fun. Also, oh, since we're on the subject of team and I'm a support, I should probably talk about a couple of the new defense items. Um, Slumbering Husk, really cool item. I think it's really well done. Um, it serves its purpose really well. Uh, I don't know. I've built it a few times on carries, just playing Battle Royale and casual matches, and it really helps. Like, it's it does its purpose really well, um, it's not overpowered, it's not underpowered. For what it does, it gives you a minimal amount of base stats, just 400 health, about as, about as much as a dragon heart, and I think that's good. Um, like, for what it does, you wouldn't want it to have too many base stats. You see, I'm getting stunned by Jules here, but she's not even gonna try to bigger button me. She's going to hit it, um, Ringo instead. So, yeah, the Slumbering Husk overall, I'd rate that one like 10 out of 10. It's pretty cool. Now that we've done an item that I do like, let's do an item that I don't like. And let's talk about the Null Wave Gauntlet. Um, I hate the Null Wave Gauntlet with a passion. I don't like it at all. Um, it's overpowered. 
it gives too many base stats, but that's not the problem. Um, the, the stats it gives isn't the problem. The problem is the, like, insane amount of utility that it gives, like, I don't know. It makes every hero Catherine when you build it. Um, it's really annoying, like, I saw, like, the, the day 2.0 came out, I saw a guy who tweeted, or, no, like, some guy on Twitter, he posted a picture of a Catherine build, and it was like, Null Wave Gauntlet, Echo, Fountain, Contraption, Storm Crowd, Crucible, Atlas Pauldron, and it was like, this player, or this, like, terrible player earned 300 points of elo in one day, find out how, just use this build. Like, that's accurate, because that's how overpowered the Null Wave Gauntlet is. Um, and then I saw another guy that was like, Deer Carries. Um, he's like, Deer Carries, if your Rome does not use Fountain, because he has been silenced by double Catherine Ultimates and two Null Wave Gauntlets, that's about a 15 second item and ability silence. Do not ping him. We are trying. And, yeah, I've played against Catherine's the build Echo, and while we did win, it was so annoying. It's just awful, um, the amount of people that are building and abusing the Null Wave Gauntlet. It's like, oh, just make it stop. It's like, it's not even very expensive to build either. Um, that's what makes it bad for me. It's really just like a portable item silence that you don't, that you don't even have to target. You just have to tap an enemy hero and it item silences them for like five seconds. Like the duration is even too long. Um, I just think that thing needs to be nerfed. Maybe even removed. I just I don't like it. It leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Um, let's also talk about the poison shiv. I haven't actually seen it very much. I've never used it. I haven't even used it yet because not I'm a support and I don't usually play a weapon power heroes, but it seems pretty good. Um, it, I, it's gonna cut down on like the triple heal comps or double heal comps. I mean, like Lyra Adagio. It's a very good counter to them, I think. Um, so yeah, Poison Shiv seems pretty well done. Not the Null Wave Gauntlet though. Um, never the Null Wave Gauntlet. So yeah, that's gonna be I don't know my review for these new items. Um, I think they're pretty decent. Um, overall. I mean, I really hate the Null of Gauntlet. Um, I've yet to see somebody use Echo correctly. They mostly just buy it, and they're, they're like, oh, two Jewel Beams will melt the other team, even if they don't even have, like, two tier three items for damage. Um, and that ends up destroying them. So, um, yeah, keep building Echo incorrectly. I like that in my ranked games. Um, let's see, what else can we talk about in 2.0? Um... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Um Oh, hero balance changes. So, um in other news, Lyra got thrown into a ditch by Super Eva Megacorp in this update. Um she lost her burst heal at the end of Imperial Sigil and also she um what she do? Uh basic attack range down from 6.8 to 6.6. .6, so no more Lyra sitting in your lane at level 1 harassing you, um, I think that's a welcome change. I mean, I played Lyra, not a ton, but she was one of my, she was like my second or third support, so, not too broken up about the Lyra changes, um, they're okay for me, like, I would really care if they nerfed Arden, but, um, they didn't, so Arden is, he's just been the most consistent support for a while. And yeah, so they didn't nerf Arden. They also didn't nerf Lance, which surprised, which really surprised me. Um, that really, it just really surprised me. They didn't nerf Lance. Like he was already top tier before Delira got nerfed, but now that Lyra has been tossed off the side of a building, Lance is definitely the top roamer for sure. Um, he just provides way too much utility on way too much of a short cooldown. Like, late game, you just buy some cooldown, and you're just smashing people into walls, chain stunning them every, like, what, it's five or six seconds? I just don't think that's fair, really. <laughs> it just doesn't seem very fair to me. I mean, I play Lance, I've started playing him as of late, learning him. He's pretty good. I mean, not pretty good. He's the best robot right now. But, yeah, um, who else did they buff in this patch? Oh, yeah, Alpha. Alpha received some pretty significant buffs, I'd say. 
um, building cooldown, or she received like a basic attack reset change so that she can attack faster. And then also she got like energy recharge makes you reboot faster and max energy makes her um, max energy gives her more health in reboot. So that's a pretty good buff for crystal power alpha, I think. Um, I think it's definitely gonna be nice to have some more melee hitter, melee heroes in the mo in the meta here. Um, and I like Alpha a lot, so I'm pretty happy about those changes. Um, let's see. Oh, a lot of people have been complaining about Alpha actually. Um, everyone's like, uh, her Echo Echo Alpha ult's gonna be so broken. It's like, do you realize how much time you have to be out of the battle to use to reboot or to reboot and then use Echo, like? You're already immobile for, um, how long? Like, a long- You're already immobile for a long time when you're rebooting as Alpha. Do you really want to take, like, another two seconds of immobility just so you can blow yourself up again? And, I mean, everybody I've seen- It's actually- No, not everybody. I mean, when I'm playing Alpha, it's very, very rare for me to actually see the enemy, like, actually get off their, um, termination protocol on somebody. I mean, the only people I've really seen do it are Sakai and I, um, to be honest. Um, but Alpha, Alpha, I just don't see what she has to gain, really, from, from, um, Echo. Like, oh, you can ult twice. Um, yeah, but everybody else is dealing damage to you while you were wasting your time building the Echo, which costs, like, 2,400 gold. So... I really just don't see the merit of building Echo in almost any situation, but we're getting off track. We were supposed to be talking about Alpha. Um, I don't know. I like Alpha. A lot of people have been, like, really complaining about her, saying, like, oh, something other than a poking mage is good. My ranged heroes, what happened to the poke meta? How could something other than a mage possibly be good? Nerf Alpha. Like, I mean, that's that's the extent of what I've seen on the Vainglory forums and Reddit and Twitter and things like that. Like, Alpha Broken, please nerf, and yeah. So that's basically what I've seen. Idris, um, talk about his balance for a second. I think he's really good. He looks really fun. Um, I showed him to one of my friends at school, and they're like, oh, it's Zed from League of Legends. So, um, yeah, that's actually gonna be it for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. I ran out of time here because the game is ending. See you guys all later. Comment down below what you want to see next, and I'll see ya.